I done caught a wave at a young age. Niggas can pay. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I live in South South Korea and today we are doing a thrifter luxury goods haul. If you guys are unaware, thrifting has become like super popular and super trendy in Korea, especially for designer wear goods. You can find a ton of options online and off, but the main thing is when you are buying designer wear, you need to be able to look out for this. This card essentially is from the Korea Institution of Luxury Goods and it is proof that the item you are buying is the real deal. These days there are a ton of dupes and tons of fakes out there which is fine but if you are paying premium price you want the real deal. So if you are buying a bag or a clothing piece in Korea, look out for this card. Obviously you're not always going to have them because these items are donated, they're second hand, they're thrifted, so whoever's given them away they may not have had the card, they may have lost it. So please be aware if you are paying like premium prices it definitely should come with this card. The items that don't have the card usually are a lot cheaper just because there's no real proof that it is an actual, you know, designing wear item. But if it is like priced rather high, it definitely should come with this card. So please be on the lookout for that. But we're gonna jump right into the haul. So we have a few different items here, a mixture of bags and fashion pieces. We're gonna start with the bags. The first bag here, you may have seen in my What's in My Bag video. It is this stunning black nylon Prada bag. And I'm gonna throw the prices out there just so you guys can get an idea how much it costs to buy secondhand designer goods in Korea because I'm not really sure how much it costs abroad in Australia or America or whatever, but this cost $255 a won or $250. It was pretty much in mint condition, there was no discoloration, no wear or tear. I love it, it's great for an everyday bag, it's a perfect size, I can fit everything in there, my wallet, water bottle, umbrella, makeup, it's just like the perfect little back everyday go bag. And yeah, not much to say about it. I just love it so much. <laughs> the next bag is another Prada bag. This one definitely is my favorite bag out of all of them. It is this stunning red Prada nylon homer bag. It's so cute. It's the perfect going out bag. This one was the most expensive. It cost $455 one or $450. Like I said, it's in mint condition. There was no issues when I bought it. And even now, it's like no problems. It's pretty much a brand new still. The thing I love about this is the handle. I feel like it's very unique. But I just thought this was really cool that it was different colors. It just kind of like makes it just a little special. But again, just the perfect going out bag. And the last bag I have is a Burberry bag. It is this just a little Burberry checkered pouch. This one was the most cheap bag and there's a reason for that. So firstly it costs $120,000 or $120 and like I said it's just like a little chicken Burberry pouch bag. The reason why it was so cheap compared to the other bags though is this one was not like in mint condition. Obviously buying second hand you don't know like how the person before you treated it. So some bags do or some items do come with like issues. And this one came with some coloring issues. So along the zip line, there is some discoloration. It's more like yellow. It's like a stain essentially along the zipper. And to be fair, like I don't mind, especially with the price I paid, but overall I'm very happy with it. Like you can't even notice the stain, honestly, in certain lighting, it's like not even visible, but be aware, some bags and some items, they will have flaws and you should look out for those. Most websites, or if you go offline, you can see yourself, but most websites will have pictures of the actual flaw. Like this one, and zoomed in and showed me like, they're like, yeah, but it has this discoloration, so just be warned, that's why it's so cheap. But overall, I'm really happy with it. It just was like a cute little casual bag for going out during the day, just throw my wallet in, some makeup, and I'm good to go. And the next few items are fashion items. The first one is another Burberry. These days I'm like obsessed with Burberry. I feel like they're such a cute like bag or brand I should say for a winter. And it is this Burberry checkered scarf in the classic beige color. This one, oh, I love it so much. It's just super soft, super like well made. It feels like so warm and cozy where I wrap it around my neck. And this one costs 60,000 won or $60. Again, there's no flaws, no like discoloration, no wear or tear, so really happy about that. 
And the next item is another Burberry piece, my last Burberry, I swear, but it is this stunning Burberry knit cardigan. It is gorgeous. It is so soft. I love the color. I love the little logo detailing here on the chest. I just think it's such a classic and timeless piece. This one cost a hundred thousand won or a hundred dollars. And again, there's no flaws, no like real damage or anything. The only thing is, I don't think you guys can see it on camera, but just next to the zipper here, there is a little bit of like tear, the tiniest amount. Like I think in everyday life, no one's gonna notice, but yeah, there is a slight little tear there. But overall, I was very happy with this. And the last item is a Fendi dress. It is this knitted Fendi t-shirt style dress with the brown monogram print. This one, I love it. I think it's so like casual, so sporty, so like, I don't know, cool. The only thing is, this item, I'm not 100% sure if it was the real deal. Like I mentioned earlier, items, like they will come with that card to prove that it's a real item. All my other items, they came with it. This was the only one that didn't come with it. I bought this in a thrift store near my house, so not sure how real it is. Like to me, like I was at the store like googling and like checking like the logo and the tag and all that to see if it was real. Like it looked 100% real, but I don't know, it could be a dupe, honestly, but I'm really happy with it. Let me guys know, do you know if this is a dupe? Please tell me. But this one cost $120,000 or $120. Again, super soft, really well made. I love the overall print. I love where it sits on my body. It's like it kind of goes into the waist here, so I'm very happy about that. And that essentially was the last item. I do want to add more to my collection eventually, though, to be fair. I definitely think I'm more of the bad girl like when it comes to designing goods. Like clothing pieces, I feel like, I don't know, I'm kind of picky with my clothing, so that's why I don't have that much clothing pieces. But that is my thrifted luxury goods haul. If you guys have any questions about thrifting designer wear goods in Korea, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it for you. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Make a little money and it acts strange. All these girls really want one, sir. I like them just.